Easy to destroy, hard to create. Yesterday I was just washing dishes and it's going to sound weird, but I just came to this realization as I was washing this this um, tray that was like really rusty and dirty and I realized it's really easy to let things just slip and decay and, you know, things easily are destroyed and like they fall back if you don't do anything with them. But I thought that if I was just to clean this tray, you know, every time I used it, or every time it was used, it got washed after it. I realized that it probably wouldn't have got to that sort of degree of bad. And it takes so much more to overcome that built up of, you know, decay, of rust, of just all of the things that it's accumulated. And that's kind of the same with life. You know, I realized it's really easy to fall back in life. It's really easy to lose your progress it's really easy to just slip back and kind of fall back because it's it's easy to do these decisions you know you just don't take responsibility you don't do anything to change and it could be really easy to just slip and fall and then all of a sudden you look and you realize like oh this is really rusty it's not working as well as it could and then it just makes me wonder it made me wonder you know like oh it's have I wasted so much time? Is there going to be a point where I have wasted too much where I can't use, you know, my mind or my body as much as I could or to its fullest potential because I have spent too much time degrading it? You know, it's like with a tray, you know, if that tray had been not taken care of for so long, you know, it's going to become rusty and then all of a sudden it's going to start falling apart and you're not going to be able to repair it. And I thought, oh, that that could easily happen if if I don't take responsibility and it doesn't even have to be that hard you know like all I had to do was just wash that tray or like dry that tray or whatever uh, every time after I used it but now it's like you have to completely scrub it and that's with like any pot or pan that gets really dirty and even with your life this is like a metaphor for life you know It just takes these small consistent steps to get the results that you want to get the clean kind of bedroom you know it's not it's not in the big cleaning that these things kind of change you know i've always tried to do these big massive changes and like you have to and i felt like i had to overtake all of these things and take all of it on because there was so much that i had to fix and that's because i hadn't got into the habit of consistently taking care of myself of consistently dedicating myself to something you know and it's hard because it's really hard to create something and if you look at statues if you look at art if you look at music if you look at sports people you know these are people that have spent hours and hours daily consistently over time to build up this beautiful kind of artwork and or this beautiful whether that artwork is themselves or it's their expression through music or through art or through a statue and these things like they're I feel drawn to them you know it's like people are drawn to them people are drawn to greatness because it shows how much effort and time they've put in and how they've done conscious effort towards it and these things are hard and that's why we value them and this just this just kind of came to me you know as a realization like these beautiful things these pieces of artwork you know they they're not sexy they're not beautiful to make they're not exciting and exhilarating like you know like so much of our life is you know with instagram everything's exciting and exhilarating it's these daily kind of practices and i realized you know i kind of enjoy making these youtube videos and it feels easy to do and something that i'd like to continue to do so i have to just build up this habit of doing it every day you know not trying to do like a bunch of videos in one day and then upload them all but just do it day after day and just get better and better and better after each day and you know just it's just like cleaning cleaning the dishes after you use them otherwise they're going to build up the grime it's going to be a lot harder to wash off and I thought with this with even like music you know because or with any skill you know if you don't use it for a certain amount of months for a certain amount of time you lose it if you don't use it you lose it and that's like that's that's a good saying for this kind of idea that I'm trying to say. So anyway, what I was trying to get across is that 
beautiful pieces of art take time, they take effort, they, they're hard work, whatever it is. But that's the satisfaction in it because you've put so much time, you've put so much investment, you've put so much of yourself into it that that's what makes, gives it value. And I was always looking for this cheap kind of value, whatever was closest to me, you know, like, oh, I want to get this value now. I want to get, feel good now. And, you know, that's, it's kind of easy to do, you know, if you just like watch a movie or you eat some good food, but it doesn't last, you know, afterwards you kind of have this down period, you know, like post nut clarity, but with like sugar or with movies, you know, post movie clarity, post eating um, clarity, but it's not that these things are bad, it's just that if you're not wary, they can kind of creep up on you and kind of degrade you if you're not conscious and you're not aware of what you're doing and you're not taking responsibility for yourself. And that's what I realized, you know, I have to take a lot more responsibility for myself if I want to create something beautiful, if I want to create something meaningful in my life. I have to put in that time and effort. And yeah, that's the idea that I wanted to share today. So thank you for watching if you did. I'm Malin and I'm going to continue to kind of share these ideas and just insights and, you know, talk about kind of experiences from my life, trying to be as honest and authentic as I can be to hopefully help other people like me. So if that sounds good to you and if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, you know, comment or share it to other people that you think might like it. And I hope to create kind of like a cool community with this because that would be really great. So thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video.